Welcome back lads to another BRE Sunday event for Mountain Blade Battle Lords. Today we have Bretonia versus the Coalition Clans in an epic 500 player battle. Remember, every unit you see on screen today is a player. The clans have united. Bretonia is under siege. We probe the enemy borders looking for signs of weakness. Today, we venture towards the town of Janzak in the hopes of finding little resistance and our first victory. The troops are ready. The assault begins. The coalition have arrived at Janzak. Cavalry are sent forward to scout the terrain and look for enemy forces. They must be nearby. We were expecting a small garrison, but the enemy is nowhere to be seen. Things are quiet. Too quiet. Our infantry are bringing up the rear, holding on to their spears and staying on guard for surprise attacks. A full complement of archers are on standby to take out enemy scouts. We avoid the town centre through fear of walking into an ambush. Instead, our forces skirt around the town edges, looking for signs of BRE activity. There's still nothing on the horizon. Could it be this easy? Have the BRE really seen our forces and retreated? Cavalry continue to search the area. As we sweep around the town, perhaps the enemy is sneaking up on our rear. In the top right, BRE cavalry are spotted. The enemy is here. They survey our infantry and look for weaknesses within our formation. As our troops move towards the far side of the town, the BRE army appears out of nowhere just down the hill from our position. Benoni, leading his Aquitani troops, move towards the capture point, taking it in the name of the BRE. King Samu of the Kingdom of Borderland head into the town to check for rear attacks and secure the walls. Meanwhile, the BRE head up the hill and take up a strong offensive position before our forces can claim the hilltop. As the BRE reveal their numbers, it becomes clear that we're facing more than just the town garrison. This will not be an easy fight. The main coalition force set up a defensive line. The KOH, having cleared the town, head back to the main lines but disappear out of sight into the valley below. And here we have it. The calm before the storm as both sides stare each other down. The coalition line looks strong. We've got some experienced players in our midst today, but will it be enough? The BRE issue a full charge with all forces committed. They have the momentum and will attempt to break through our shield wall. A large number of their forces are focused down our left flank, attempting to outnumber us on this side and sweep across. The coalition have no choice but to pull back, greatly reducing their ability to maneuver. Things are looking dire for the coalition. But just in time, the KOH charge around the BRE flank with a surprise rear attack out of nowhere. The BRE seem unprepared and their forces scramble to plug the gap. The lines are redrawn and the coalition forces now hold the hilltop. Our archers are stationed within the town walls, firing into the enemy. The BRE form a shield wall, attempting to draw our fire.
the battle dissolves into a brawl. The survivor counts at the top show the coalition now have the number advantage. The VRE will need to rethink their strategy quickly to pull this one back before it's too late. That archer fire from the walls is deadly. It seems the coalition are winning this due to their superior positioning and exposing the enemy flanks to the walls. Sensing the killing blow is at hand, our archers abandon their positions and charge down the bridge and into the fray. The BRE cavalry has been deadly in this battle. Even outnumbered, they still pose a real threat. It's not over yet. The BRE could still win this if they could just regroup. But the Coalition is applying too much pressure, making it near impossible for them. The BRE are outnumbered two to one. We're now in the final moments of the battle. They regroup just in time to rush the archers and take out some vital coalition firepower. I'm calling it here guys, the coalition have won this battle. The enemy mount a final stand on the cliff top as their soldiers fall to their deaths and perish. Finally, a victory for the Coalition after a number of defeats. Are we finally going to turn the tide against the BRE? The town of Janzak has fallen, the BRE won't give up easily, and we expect a counter-attack at dawn. Our forces are depleted, but can we hold? Once again guys, thank you so much for watching. These events are held every Sunday on the BRE server. If you want to get involved, I personally play for the Kingdom of Borderland. I'll post a link to their Discord in the description below.